Welcome everyone, Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you. So today I want to talk about the five best steroids for cutting. Now before I get into this video and we start getting uh, different sorts of comments and everything, this is Dylan Jamelli's opinion only, okay? Everybody's got their own opinion. That's awesome. I respect everybody's opinion. I know how things are anymore. We're entitled to have an opinion. I have my reasons, and I'm sure many of you have your reasons if you don't agree with this list, and yada, yada, yada. What I have done here is just taken the more mainstream things. There's things that you can throw in here. I get it. I understand it, but it's not like I'm going to start throwing random things in like check drops, for example, that nobody uses, or what about this? What about that? We're looking at the five best mainstream, most widely used anabolic steroids that I feel are the best in cutting. And look, my top five, they're like separated by the most minute little whatever that you, you, you want to put it criteria is involved any of these are interchangeable damn near i mean my number one i think everybody's going to agree with it's pretty pretty standardized in terms of the bodybuilding community but look the next four you could make the the smallest move here or there in the argument they're all pretty darn close it's like one two two a two b two c two like like that type of thing now, honorable mention, I left halotestin off here for a couple reasons. One, it's not as widely used. Two, uh, it's it's one of those things that, yeah, it's really good for cutting, but it's so, I don't know, not that many people should even be using it. And I don't, I'm definitely not encouraging any use here, but like I said, more mainstream and wide used. So one through five, here we go. I've tried to put these in order and narrow it down to the smallest, most minute little thing, but it's very difficult, you know, to really separate some of these. Number five, I'm going with Masteron. And the reason I'm putting it at five is because it's more of a cosmetic drug. It still works if you have a higher body fat percentage, but it's best utilized if you're kind of like under that 10% range because it's an aesthetic. It's like, um, I always tell people it's like when you uh, watch Edward Scissorhands carve out an ice sculpture or something like that. That's kind of what it does, but the lower your body fat is, the better it's going to work because that's where it truly shines. It, and none of these are like miraculous weight loss drugs by any means. We're talking about cutting steroids. We're talking about what's going to give your body the best opportunity to cut down, um, shed some fat, but not attempt to lose 60 and 70 pounds. That's not what steroids are used for. Um, so there's a fine line on the, the different uh, understandings and definitions of cutting. Masteron, you could argue it to be number two very easily, okay? I put it at number five. Uh, number four, I put Primabolin. I just feel that more longer-term use of Primabolin is going to build more lean muscle than Masteron is, and the more lean muscle you build, the more fat you're going to lose. These are definitely arguable. One of the other things I like about Primabolin is it does increase endurance, and it doesn't get a lot of love for that or a lot of recognition, and that also helps to burn more fat, obviously, in terms of your cardiovascular training. So I have Primabolin at number four, and look, I'm also a Primo Mark. I think Primo is like the greatest thing that ever got created in terms of steroids, and so I might be a little impartial. Who knows? I try to be as subjective as I can and as fair as I can because I just put Prima Bowl number one on everything otherwise. Even though I would even know in my heart of hearts it's not number one on everything. Um, I just love the cleanliness and what you get out of it. and it, it fits my goals a lot more than it does for other people. But anyway, I have it number four. I have my reasons. I do feel that's very accurate um, but very interchangeable here as well. Two and three are so close, and you're going to be shocked what I have at number two. And this is how far I've come in just a short amount of time. Winstrol, number three. So that only leaves us, well, I'm going to get to that in a second. Winstrol is one of my favorite compounds, period. One of the only gripes I have with Winstrol is around week four or five for me, I always end up feeling like crap. And that is just because it's so strong, even with protection, the lethargy it causes. But there is no denying the amount of... Of, of, of benefit that you can get from Winstrol because it's not just the muscle hardening and the, the aesthetically pleasing look. It's the strength. It's the lean muscle gain. There is so much you can get from Winstrol, but it's a lot harsher on you and it's a lot harder to deal with, especially as an oral steroid. But I think that a lot of people will agree Winstrol kind of fits in right here at, at number three. Um, you could put it up to number two if you'd like. You could drop it to number five. You could drop it all the way out. That's everybody's 
own idea, whatever. But I feel with its versatility and what it does and just the, the so many different things, the vascularity, the, the real just definition increase, I just feel Winstraw belongs at number three. Number two is Anavar. And I know that sounds crazy coming out of my mouth for the years I just let Anavar have it. But I'm telling you, after this last experience, which I have documented, I was wrong. Many of you were right. Uh, the quality of Anavar I had was tremendous. And my experience with Anavar, it almost has it as my favorite steroid period now. And I am totally fine with admitting I was wrong, sticking my foot in my mouth, whatever the case may be. Look, if you are going to get anywhere in life, one of the main things you got to be able to do is admit when you were wrong. And I was flat out wrong on a lot of my assessments with Anavar. I will stand by it because I am not going to ever deny those terrible experiences that I had with good quality Anavar. And I don't know what happened, what the case may be, but whatever the reason is, this last time I run it was one of the best experiences that I've ever had over all of these years. Anavar, I mean, you, you go run it and see that, you know, strength... Uh, increases in, in like lean muscle, but really that's one of the ones I'll tell you will attack some fat on you. And I never carry around much at all because of the way that I train and eat. But I can tell you this, it just attacked any little problem area that I had bothering me. And the way that I felt on it, it was so much better than Winstrol over the longer durations in terms of how I felt. I will say Winstrol is stronger, but I got more out of Anavar because I was able to run it longer and use it and feel better while I was using it. And number one, I don't think they're going to get much argument from anybody on this. It is Trenbolone, and that goes without saying. Look, Tren is the, one of the harshest steroids out there, and it's not like I'm sitting here telling people you need to go use it. This is for experienced users only, but damn it, you can get away with a lot with your diet on Trenbolone. I think everybody knows that. The way that you can, it, it just, it, it takes food and just fuels it, even food that's not the best. And I'm a big, big, big proponent of staying clean on it regardless. But even I tested it just to test it and eat some things out of the norm. And that just didn't affect me at all. It just didn't. I can't run Trent anymore. In fact, I barely even use anything anymore. Um, and that's for several reasons. I'm uh, just tired of side effects and, just, and, and promises I made and uh, thinking about goals that I have and what my goals are that don't really coincide. But I will tell you this. When it comes to cutting, especially there, I don't need. I don't even know how. I don't even need to say anything. It's like drop the mic sh type of thing. Like Tren is is the real deal. It is. That's hard to argue. I, I will argue on that one. Uh, it, I'm saying it's hard to argue against. I will probably argue back on that one. I'm sure most people would. Um, but hey, everybody's got their own opinions, and it is what it is. But I got Tren as an easy number one. Uh, I don't really have anything else out there that I could tell you that uh, steroid wise. Um, that can even come, even anything really. Trend is elite when it comes to that. Um, if you want to stay safer and things like that, then there's some SARMs that can really cut weight well. But to, to compare them to Trend is, you know, come on. I'm not going to go there. But there are other options of safer weight loss. But if you're talking about just the very best, that would be Trend hands down. Okay. So that being said, please subscribe to the channel. Click the notifications. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button. That helps the algorithm which helps us get out there more, which helps me produce more videos. And also, Dylan at IceArms.com. Send me questions, comments, and stay tuned for plenty more to come. Dylan Jamelli, signing off.